So what makes a woman a goddess? Basically, there's a lot of stuff in the media about, you know, you can be a goddess with this face cream or with this razor. Being a goddess is about unveiling all the seven aspects that make up your feminine psyche. Okay, we've got the wild woman who governs the base chakra. We've got Aphrodite, the beautiful muse, um, who governs our search for love that sits in our belly, our emotional center. We have Athena, the career woman, who sits in the solar plexus, who uh, seeks out her purpose in life. We have in the heart the mother aspect, Demeter, um, and we need to invoke her to mother ourselves, to make choices that are really nurturing of our growth. We have the inner healer, Artemis, who governs the throat, the wise woman, Hecate at the third eye, and Ishtar, the Magdalene, the Tantrika at the crown. When we get to know all of these aspects within us and express them, the life force, the Kundalini, literally runs up from the earth all the way through those seven gates and shines out of us so that we glow. And this was the secret of Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. So you will not find the secret to being a goddess in a product. You will unveil the fullness of your potential and let your light shine out into the world as a goddess. When you do that inner descent to unveil these aspects, I have um, channeled a book that is a step-by-step -step process, a seven-step tantric workbook for women. It's called The Inner Goddess Makeover. And it is a very powerful book. I'm honoured to have been the channel that brought these very ancient teachings through. And I invite you to read it. And uh, also, a lot of women have got a lot out of the book by coming together once a month and working through the aspects together once a month. So, if you will, a goddess book club. So there's details on my website about how to create your own goddess group, your own body, goddess book club. Um, and I invite you to take that journey of inner transformation to reclaim your true feminine power.